Now, in the tab, we have a other tabs. There are different tabs. You know, so far, whatever we have created in the previous session, those are the custom object tabs. We also have a other tabs, which are called web tab, visual force tabs, and lightning tabs. If you go to the tab, and here you will see web tab, visual force tab, lightning component tab, lightning page tab. Now, web tab is nothing but if you want to create a, any tab for the website. Now, let's assume that you wanted to show the Salesforce website here. Now, what you will do, you will click on this new button. And you will create a, some kind of a website to show as a tab. Now, do you want to show the website as a full page or a two column width? It's up to you. The developer has to decide it. And click on the next button. Now, provide here the name of it. So let's say here Salesforce. Let's say custom Salesforce. Yeah. Tab style. Choose the tab style of it. Yeah. And then context you specify it and click on the next. Here it is going to ask you that which URL do you want to show? Which URL do you want to show? So you can specify your website or something like a search criteria. Something like search criteria. Your search, whatever the Google, let's take an example of google.com. In the google.com, whatever the org name you are searching it, you wanted to find the information. So instead of your site.com, let's say HTTPS colon, slash slash google.com slash search slash view equal to org name whatever the org name is there this is basically this is merge field this is merge field now you have a option here available merge fields now do you want to use the organization field or an api field or use the field do you want to use the any fields Let's say by default, I'm going to take the organization field. So here you have a different options. Now if you select a name, it will show the curly basis. Now just copy this merge field and paste it here. Copy the merge field and just paste it here. Wherever you need a merge field, merge field, merge field is nothing but directly go and get the data from the report. Now in the organization, I have a, assume that three reports are there. Out of these three reports, you know, what are the record information I needed in this org, in this record, in this organization. And here I have a different field server. Different. This is one object. Inside this object, I have a different field. This is one field. This is another field. This is another field. This is another field. This is another field. Now, out of these five fields, I just need a name. So just pull me the name of the data, which is select the field, which name you want. Now, which field do you want it? Just select it so that it will give you the merge field. So, copy the merge field and just paste it here. Okay, so, click on save. On the next button. And let's click on save. Web tab is created. Now, if you, but the problem here is third party website we are showing on to the Salesforce. Few websites are, does not support, like it will give you the information. It says you cannot access the other system cannot access the other system, right? Refuse to connect. Whenever we are trying to integrate the third party system within our application, first we need to take a confirmation from the third party system that we are going to use this application in our system or in our Salesforce or 
So that means they need to open up the access. They need to open up the access, then only we can use it. So all the websites, we cannot connect within the Salesforce. So we need to have a proper communication with the, any system, like if it is a Google, take a Google, or if it is a different application, we need to talk to them and get the approval it so that they will open up the IP address for us so we can access from the Salesforce. So now here it is a definitely refuse to connect because we have not done the proper steps to contacting the Google. So we cannot call the any third party website directly without information. So that is the web tab. This is just an example. If you want to show any Google or any third party into the Salesforce, you can go for a web tab. Visual tabs are nothing, visual force tabs are nothing but we have a, in the development, we have a one of the programming language, which is called visual force. Programming language, which is called visual force. Now, whenever we are implementing the programming language, that time, if you want a tab, for the programming language. That means visual force is nothing but this is used for the to build the UI. This is to build the UI. So in order to build the UI, we use the visual force. Once you build the visual force, if you want to display that UI on the as a navigation item or a tab, then you can go for tab and just use the new button and select the visual force and display the information here. And the next one is lightning component. Next one is lightning component stuff. Now this is for the lightning component. So we have a, another user interface programming language, which is called as a lightning Aura and LWC. So if you want to use a, any lightning component tab, so click on here. Now what it does, it is going to ask a certain information. Now let's say, which component do you want to use it? Now here you need to choose the lightning Aura component. The what are the programming language that we have implemented? That program I have to choose it and specify the tab name or a label style, everything I need to choose it. And next one is a lightning page. Lightning page tab. Lightning page tab is if you want to implement any value, like we have to first create a page, which is an app builder page. First, we need to create a page and then refer that page to that. Tab level, what are the different tabs we can create? So these all we will see visual force tab, lightning component tabs, lightning page tabs going further, we will see in detail. 